There are 19 states in the U.S. that have legalized recreational cannabis and 37 that permit medical marijuana. But Kansas remains one of the few states that has not meaningfully changed its laws around marijuana. On Thursday, Kansas Governor Laura Kelly signed a bill into law that allows Kansans to legally take FDA-approved medicine derived from cannabis. House Bill 2540 amends the definition of marijuana in the state's Uniform Controlled Substances Act to exempt you. S. FDA-approved drugs containing active compounds, most notably THC, in marijuana. At the moment, there are not many FDA-approved drugs derived from cannabis. The best known is Apidiolex, a cannabis-derived medication, which contains CBD. Apidiolex is used to treat Dravet and Lonogusto syndromes, both serious seizure disorders that mostly affect children. Since CBD is federally legal, the new Kansas law updates the state's criminal code to mirror federal law. Marinol is FDA approved, but it is a synthetic form of THC. According to testimony given in front of the Kansas legislature this year by Alexandra Blasey, the executive secretary of the Kansas Board of Pharmacy, the new bill is trying to get ahead of a new pharmaceutical medication containing THC derived from cannabis to treat muscle spasticity associated Y. There are a number of products currently in clinical trials anticipated to be submitted for FDA approval in the coming months and years. Blasey said during testimony earlier this year that if Kansas did not change its laws around marijuana before a new cannabis-derived drug was approved by the FDA. The Topeka Capital Journal first reported the news about Governor Kelly signing the bill into law. Recent efforts backed by Governor Kelly to legalize medical marijuana in Kansas have failed. However, in 2019, state lawmakers took a baby step with a piece of legislation that's colloquially referred to as Claire and Lola's Law, which essentially allows for CBD products with 5% DHC content. It's important to note that the Farm Bill, which federally legalized hemp and CBD, only allows 0.3% DHC on a dry weight basis. The law's main purpose was to prevent children from being removed from the home based on parents giving their kids CBD treatments. But the update to the Kansas Controlled Substances Act did not go far enough for many residents. Kelly Ripple, the co-founder of Kansans for Hemp and founding president of Planted Association for Kansas, an industrial hemp advocacy and trade association, has been fighting to legalize medical marijuana in his home state for 10 years. Kansas is ground zero for cannabis prohibition, says Ripple.